probably every agro grower I uh, watch on YouTube uh, does uh, a bloom update monthly. So I thought uh, we are still in March. I just have a few days left of March. Well, everybody does, I, <laughs> I guess. But uh, yeah, I thought uh, I'm going to make a bloom update for the month March. So uh, I have a good excuse to make uh, another one uh, very soon in April. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go watch some blooms. And I'm gonna start on top of this shelf. Here is a uh, beautiful little bloom coming out. And it's officially a no idea. Yeah, I, I have nothing on the, on the tag name-wise, so I'm sorry. But if you recognize this one, please let me know. And I'm going to try not to move too much. This is another one. This one is a uh, bot in uh, bot, so this, uh, these are not uh, my blooms, so to speak, but it's very, very beautiful, and it does me remind uh, of the Sturbeck, the red Sturbeck. We will see that uh, that now, because that one is also in bloom. It has two spikes open already, and the color is a bit different, but the blooms are very uh, do look uh, like uh, very uh, much to uh, one another. So therefore, I. Maybe a cross, maybe not. I don't know. Another one spike over here. And I'm going to zoom out so you can see them. And we have a third spike coming here. So this is the Sturbeck Red. And next to it, a absolute one of my favorites. It's beautiful. The color is so, so beautiful. I hope not to shake too much. <laughs> This is the Colmenara Red, Mesa Red, if I'm correct. Let me grab the tag for you guys. Oh, I'm sorry, Odontoglossum Mesa Red. Probably has a different name by now. You know how it goes with the orchids, but I'm gonna still gonna call it uh, Odontoglossum. Looks like it misses some petals, but it, they are there. <laughs> And then I have a Miltonia Sunset. I think it's a sunset. It's almost gone. It's basically gone. But you can uh, see the spots still on the sepals and the petals. But um, I don't think it's a golden, golden yay, if I uh, pronounced it correct. I think it's a sunset with some um, spores left oh, from uh, from the, uh, the parents. It, uh, the, the actual sunset doesn't have those spots, but mine does, but, uh, so I think it makes it a little bit special. <laughs> and here we have some new buds to come, and also this one. One spike here, and I spotted another one coming there. This is the first time I rebloom on my uh, nive Nivium. Nivium? Oh, pronouncing those names, but um, yeah, Nivium. I, uh, I think it's pronounced like that. So that's very, very. Uh, I'm very excited about this, uh, these guys as well. Then we go down, and this is my uh, proud and joy, if I uh, can say it. I love them all, but this one, this is a Miltoniopsis. If you didn't recognize it, it's the Princess Diana, and this is the first time I did rebloom a Miltoniopsis. I have orchids for almost 16 years, probably even longer. Uh, on occasion I did bought uh, some Miltoniopsis, but I, uh, they died quite often in my care. And they absolutely did not rebloom. So, but now uh, I, uh, I have, um, it actually had three spikes. It lost a bloom already. It had two on this one and a few more on the others. So it had uh, three spikes. And uh, yeah, it's one of my favorites, the Miltoniopsis in general. I love the blooms, the Pansy Orchid, they call them sometimes. And a beautiful, beautiful rosy fragrance to it. You can see this one is uh, starting to go already, but I uh, could enjoy this for weeks now. It's really blooming for quite a long time. And this is my Oncidium type, my uh, Yester. Something raw on yester, and I have to admit, I just recently bought this one. I already did repot it. The same hydroponics. I use some pebbles on top and some pumice in the in the in the pot, but it makes uh, new roots, if you can see. 
I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on the roots and over here is another root let me point it out there and we have one there so I did repot it already and I did leave it with a flower spike it came with this spike and I'm just uh, hoping it will uh, start to bloom I think it will it, it, they did develop uh, develop a little bit more and I'm just gonna watch the bulbs very closely if they don't shrivel up too much this orchid can handle blooming and um, acclimating to a, a new climate so but I'm uh, keeping an eye on this one if it doesn't do well I'm gonna cut flower spike and give the orchid all uh, the energy to make uh, new roots yeah, this one I bought in bloom. It's a recently uh, bought plant and I really like it. It's a really beautiful blooms and it has a nice fragrance. A typical kind of, kind of yeah, odonto fragrance. I, I, it's hard to explain. It's, it's a quite hard fragrance. Not my favorite, but it has a fragrance. And it is waiting for a repot into semi hydroponic. Then we are at my zygo section. This is uh, my newest zygo. I have it for a few weeks now. It's already in semi-hydroponic. It came with a lot of more spikes, but I uh, did cut them off. This one uh, stayed on. I'm really watching the orchid if it doesn't take too much of it being repotted and blooming, but so far so good, I think. Then we have this zygo. This one is already starting to go. It bloomed for uh, quite some weeks. And if I really had to choose, this is my favorite, but it's not as, as um, beautiful now. It's not as... Uh, because the blooms are uh, going already, but it's a very, very beautiful one. This is not a real Saigo, but a cross with a Saigo and another uh, orchid. I don't remember that on the top of my head, but if you really want to know, let me know. I will uh, give you the names. And this one has two spikes here and here but not blooming yet and my berry ona is left with one spike at this moment it has about 12 spikes and a lovely honey like fragrance beautiful one it's quite a quite a big target but yeah kind of easy to care for this one blooms regularly it makes cakes quite a lot i take them all always off because I want the new new growths and no uh, no cakes, not that much. I put the cakes up and give them away. This is a Dendrobium phenoliopsis, as you can see. This one is blooming for months now. This is the last spike. It had three spikes, but it bloom is blooming for months, months and months and months. As is this one. This is the uh, purple happiness. I hope the colors will show bright. It's a really, really nice deep purple. And the other one in the back is a pink one. I do not have the name for this one, but uh, it's quite a uh, new plant. But the same story, I did a repot on it. And I think it's, I'm sorry, I think it's trying to make new roots already. So I, that will be okay. But you see a little bit of desiccation of the canes here. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this one as well. Then we have the Anna Green Splash, if I'm correct. Also a Phenoliopsis, the Dendrobium Phenoliopsis. And it has already a beautiful new growth in the back. And I'm gonna zoom in because it's already started two, two, I'm sorry, two new, no, it doesn't wanna focus. One new spike there and one there. So this one likes to bloom. And I like the blooms very much. Beautiful, right? Oh, it needs to focus, I'm sorry. And there you go. Another little drawbeam. This is the polar something. Let me check. Uh, polar fire, yes, it is. The polar fire. Oops, try to get the tag back into the pot. <laughs> there we go. Then we have my big cherry baby. Three spikes, 
they can get even bigger but the, these three are the biggest so far for for, uh, for my plant and they smell really really well really nice beautiful blooms and a lot of them I didn't count them but uh, quite a lot <laughs> and then we move over here we have my Brussia orange orange delight Beautiful spike. I hope you can see them, but uh, yeah, beautiful blooms. And some happy sap. Let's try to zoom in on the happy sap. Yes, there you go. Beautiful, right? Happy sap over. Whoops, over there. And over there. Yeah, it's, it is loving the greenhouse. It's growing very, very well. And then we go here. This Xanda started to bloom. And there's another spike over here. And seriously, it has 10 keikis. I counted them last week. 10 keikis. I don't know if they show up very well but it has 10 new growths here so it's going to be a big plant <laughs> and then we have the uh, white angel still blooming but it's going over now as you can see a little brown bloom is coming out but that's okay and then we have the mystic maze i will turn it around and here you go the blooms of the mystic maze Beautiful one, very big spike. First time for me to rebloom this one. It has a, a very, very long spike. The orchid itself is very big. Say the bulb. Beautiful. And also in growing in semi hydroponics. I have two tolumnias. Well, actually, this is a crushed Talamia, and it's the uh, Medias, and this one is uh, officially a Noa D. It's beautiful blooms, and I uh, bought this this one in bloom, so they, they, those are not my blooms, but uh, still, they are uh, very pretty, I think. And I'm trying a new setup for them. I don't like mounds, I like the look of mounds, but I don't like to work with mounds, so I try... Uh, something uh, inorganic as well with these guys next to it we have an epidendrum red dragon starting to bloom and underneath the red dragon we have a beautiful orchid if you ask me with two blooms almost three it's the psychopsis and I really really like the blooms of this guy so different shaped, beautiful. Sorry for the shaking. <laughs> and next to it we have the Alba version, the yellow one. Or semi Alba, I don't know. I think it's the Alba. Not sure, but and this one has three blooms. Right. Very, very beautiful. It was very showy, and you can see the orange and yellow one are a little bit shorter, but the yellow one has a quite long bloom. Um, flower spikes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not quite long blooms, but flower spikes. They're very, very long. And then we have another epidendrum, yellow one, radicans. No ID, I don't have a name for it. This is my orange one. They will be here to come. <laughs> and then we go over to my family abscesses. Also a no ID family abscess. Beautiful one. It's a miniature. And this one is uh, fragrant. 
and by now you probably noticed it but I will uh, have some pop-ups with the names of the artists because I will be here all day if I try to uh, get the name tags out but uh, yeah this one is uh, fragrant it's a very beautiful way of flowering if you ask me and then we have the quite famous Leodoro this one I will uh, always remember on top of my head <laughs> it's also a fragrant one it has five spikes and one is uh, this is the newest one is flowering I hope this these guys the older ones will flower as well would be a pretty uh, nice show I think and then we have the yellow one and it's a beautiful one it's also fragrant a little bit citry like I saw this the first time at uh, Annabelle's uh, the orchid room and I really really liked it so I bought one but sadly mine has crown rot it's very very disappointed but it happens and I hope it will make a cake but I think it's dropping uh, the blooms this is another spike so I don't know if I can save this one but let's hope next to it we have a no idea supermarket found target <laughs> but I, I like it I really like it then one of my favorite colors this is uh, qu uh, yeah, quite a new one kind of small blooms but a beautiful dark color behind it we have another no ID this is uh, the one that my husband uh, found and also a beautiful one I don't think the camera will take the colors because they are uh, quite hard to get on camera but uh, it's a beautiful one very dark purpley red one and behind it we have the same one as uh, like I said my, uh, my uh, husband found this one it has two spikes another one is here and another one over here some looms to come and then we go down again to this one it's a little bit uh, strange shapes the flowers didn't open completely I think maybe it's the way it blooms but I like the flowers a little bit more open to be honest but I still like it but uh, my uh, yeah I like them a little bit more when they opened for example like this one also a no ID this one I have an ID on beautiful one as well it's probably my uh, my favorite one of one of my favorites beautiful blooms colors on it then high up in the sky I will zoom in Oops. sorry for the shaking oh <laughs> I don't know, I hope I made you dizzy there but uh, this is the Jaguar family officers Jaguar beautiful one as well I keep saying that I think <laughs> I'm sorry but I like them uh, all this is this one it's no ID found in the supermarket but I really really like it and I think the colors do get more intense since they are growing in uh, in my greenhouse now beautiful colons, colors and beautiful veining on the leaves as well I'm going to try to zoom in that's beautiful if you ask me and then we have this one beautiful shape as well and colors very strong colors this time once again I think it's uh, because I uh, grow them in a greenhouse the light is so much better in here almost opened up the last bloom as you can see almost open but it's a really beautiful spike it's a secondary spike it, uh, made another spike on an old spike and then we have a beautiful orange one I think it's the surf song I'm not completely sure but I found it this one as well in the supermarket but I think it's a surf song and then we have this beautiful yellow one 
I like the contrast of the peachy color with the, the with the yellow. And then we have this one, very beautiful as well. Kind of different shape as you can see. Then we have a very big one. Very big spike as you can see. Beautiful pink one. But I must admit the plant itself is not doing very well. The leaves are getting a little, little bit of leathery, as, uh, as they say. <laughs> but it has roots in the pot, but this one does it every single time it, it, when, it, when it blooms. So I think the spike is, uh, in the blooms are taking a little bit too much energy of the plant. So I keep an eye on it. And if I must, I will cut the flower spike off. But that is uh, very hard because they are so beautiful. <laughs> And next to it we have a, another no ID, but this one is fragrant. If you recognize one of my plants and I have it listed as a no ID, please let me know if you have the ID. I really want to know it, but it's, these are two spikes and nice cluster together. Beautiful showy orchid. <laughs> and then we have a, quite an old one in my collection. It's a very big plant, it has very, very long roots, aerial roots, and beautiful blooms. It's also a big lip argus, I don't have a name for it, so if you have a name, please let me know. And then we have this no ID purple one. This is the first one I did find in uh, our second-hand store. People uh, bring a lot of stuff in, also plants. And I really, uh, it was in quite a bad shape, but it uh, really uh, took off now. It's almost, uh, it looks like it's falling out of the pot, but it doesn't. This is just the way it grows. And I have them hanging, uh, probably all of them. Yeah, I think I have them hanging. I prefer the plants hanging in the pots like they would do in nature. This is another one. This is a first time bloomer for me. Linetta. Family of Linetta. Beautiful pink one. It's also quite big, but it doesn't have much leaves. I had, uh, I struggled a lot with my family lapses when I started uh, growing them in savory hydroponics. And that's you can see uh, it on this one. It's starting to make new leaves, better leaves now, but and also beautiful blooms. So they are all hanging here on this side of the greenhouse. I really like the look of it. It's just a sea of blooms. <laughs> I love it. And for March, this is my uh, bloom update. I have quite a lot of them in bloom. I try to make this video not too long. But I uh, really like to show them and uh, to talk about them. So it's, uh, I think, a good idea for me to make uh, videos about the orchids because I really like talking about them, sharing information, how I grow them, how I feed them. I am planning on making all those videos and uh, they will be here on my channel. So if you are interested in it, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you already did, uh, thank you for watching. And I will be here with a uh, next video on my channel targets uh, quite soon I guess I plan <laughs> you never know how life goes but I have a lot to talk about so see you at the next video bye bye